Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. Today in this video, I am going to discuss the selection rules for atomic and molecular spectra. And in this view, we are going to discuss first for one electron system and for more than one electron system. For more than one electron systems, we are having two different cases. One is for lighter atoms and the other one is for heavier atoms. And here I have drawn this example spectrum which we are going to discuss in the upcoming slides. So let's start with the video and first we are going to discuss the selection rules for atomic spectra and in this view we are going to discuss the first case for one electron system. And as you know for an atom we are having four different quantum numbers. So first we are having the principal quantum number. And the selection rules applicable for this principal quantum number is given as delta n is equal to any integer including 0. So how you are going to understand this point? So here if we are having this type of situation and for one electron system we are having the same states as the configuration is given. So if we are having this transition from 2s to 2p then the change in the principal quantum number will be 0 right so this is how you can understand and in case of alkali metal spectrum we can have this type of transitions now the second point is the change in the orbital angular momentum quantum number for a given transition so there must be the change in the orbital angular momentum quantum number that is delta l is equal to plus minus 1 this is also known as Laperte rule and uh, this is considered as an electric dipole system and for this electric dipole system the this rule is also applicable to the parity and parity in a transition must be changed from O to E1 or E1 to O. And how we are going to decide the parity? The parity will be decided as the summation of Li. I will explain this with this example. So if a transition occurs from 2s to 2p level, then what is the change in the delta L? Whether this transition will be allowed transition or not allowed transition. So delta L is will be written as L2 minus L1. So initially the electron is present in this 2s and now it on transition it will move to the 2p. So the final state is this. So for this p we are having L is equal to 1 and for this s L is equal to 0. Now the transition delta L is equal to L2 minus L1 it means 1 minus 0. This gives me plus 1. Now the another example is this is say absorption and this is say emission spectra. So here in this case for this L is equal to 1 and for this S L is equal to 0. And what will be the delta L? Delta L will be L2 minus L1 and here just put the values of L2. L2 is now in this case 0 minus 1 and it gives me minus 1. For allowed transition the orbital angular momentum quantum number must be changed by this delta L is equal to plus minus 1 which implies the conservation of angular momentum for which the angular momentum must change by one unit. In addition to that one condition is also there for one electron system delta L is equal to 0 is not allowed. Now the question comes Will it be applicable for more than one electron? So that we are going to discuss in the upcoming slides, right? Next important selection rule for the atomic spectra is that the total angular momentum quantum number. What is that? That is represented by delta J. And the change in delta J must be equal to 0 or plus minus 1. How we are going to understand with this? J is equal to? 0 and plus minus 1 that I will tell you later on. Now we are going to discuss for more than one electron systems, right? If we are having more than one electron transitions, then how we are going to decide the selection rules for a given atom? That we are having 
two different cases for more than one electron system. So one is for lighter elements as I have written over here. And similarly for this, this principal quantum number change will applicable for all molecular and atomic spectra and for one electron system and for more than one electron system. Here one more quantum number is introduced in case of selection rules, right? In previous case, we didn't discuss about the spin quantum number, but here we are going to discuss about the spin quantum number. So this is spin quantum number, that is delta S must be zero. In the similar kind of spin, transitions are possible. And this rule is applicable for lighter elements. Now we are going to discuss what about orbital angular momentum quantum number. This is same for as we discussed for one electron system, only the changes here you can see the zero. This zero, right? Now you may have a question if you said in the previous case for one electron system that it must conserve the orbital angular momentum and delta L must be plus minus one, then how you can say this zero is here? So that I will discuss with one example in the next slide, right? But here it is important that it can have for more than one electron system, zero and plus minus one. If this zero is there, how it preserves its angular momentum, right? Which is necessary condition for the atomic or molecular spectra. And in some of the texts, you will find delta L and in some of the texts, you will find ML. So don't get confused. Whichever you feel, these two have same meaning here. I'm just going to discuss with example here. What about this delta S here? So here we are having two terms. One is 3P and the other term is 3D. If S2 minus S1 is equal to zero, that is called allowed transition right so here we are having the energy levels for the given terms so here what we have incorporated how this fragmented but the change is in the total angular momentum here 0 1 2 and now if we draw the energy levels for these terms then the first condition which we applied here is delta S is equal to zero. I hope you understand it here. How we are going to apply this delta S is equal to zero. So in this manner, we are going to apply this delta S is equal to zero and how we are going to apply this plus minus one rule in this case. So plus minus one rule, how we are going to apply it. So D is having L is equal to two. And for this P, we are having L is equal to one. And if transition is occur in between these two energy states, then what will be the change in delta L? So change in delta L, you can write down capital L here. So that is equal to L2 minus L1. So on subtracting, if you are talking about the absorption, then it is plus one. And if you are talking about the emission, then it is minus one. So in this way, these two rules are applicable here. And now we are talking about the total angular moment. So what is that total angular momentum? So for total angular momentum, delta J must be zero or plus minus one. Only the condition is that from J is equal to zero to J is equal to zero is not possible, which is not allowed. But the value of delta J can be zero or plus minus one. So how you are going to understand with example, I am giving you here. So here you just see what is this this transition suggests that delta s is equal to zero for this transition multiplicity for both the states is three so delta s is zero done first one is done second delta l is equal to if we are talking about the emission or here i am just writing this capital l why capital l if we are having transitions for more than one electron system then we are denoting these two capital letters and if we are having one electron system then you can have a choice for small letters so delta l is minus one is here right i hope you can calculate so p2 minus d2 my means l is equal to one l is equal to two for this 
equal to 2. So 1 minus 2 will give me minus 2. So these two conditions are fulfilled first two. Now what about j? So calculate that j. So 1 is here for this. So j1 is equal to 1 for 3D1 system. This implies j is equal to 1 and for 3P2 system we are having j is equal to 2. So this is my final state. So j, delta j is equal to j2 minus j1 and this gives me 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Right. So here we are having delta j is equal to plus 1. Right. So these three conditions are applicable here. And what about delta n? So we are not considering that delta n here. Now the second transition. So what is the value of delta j here? So j is equal to 0. For this transition, just tell me what is the delta j value. So delta j will be equal to minus 1. So minus 1, delta j is equal to 0, delta j is equal to plus 1. I hope you understand. So the delta j can be for a given transition can be 0 plus minus 1. j is equal to 0 to 0 transition is not possible. So that I will discuss in the next slide because I am not having j is equal to 0 here for this d. Now next transition here you can see 3d2 to 3p2 because we are having Delta S is equal to 0, delta L is equal to minus 1 and delta J is equal to for this transition is equal to 0. The next transition is this so you can calculate and what about this 2 to 0. So in this case delta J is equal to minus 2. Is it possible or not? So according to the rules it is not possible here you can see. Now the next transition from 3 to 2 we get 1. So in terms of j I am talking about and here 3 to 1 we will get this transition is not possible and this transition is also not possible. So here, here this is not possible because on here in this case we are having delta j is equal to 3 and this is also not possible because for this system we are having delta j is equal to 2. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. I am not bothering about the sign. So these three are not possible, right? In this case. So I hope you understand the, how to use these selection rules for a given system and how to apply. When we are having delta L is equal to 0, then delta J is equal to plus minus 1 is applicable only. 0 is not applicable. One more thing, if we are having jump of two electrons simultaneously then the condition is l should be plus minus one so for one electron we are having plus minus one for second electron we are having again plus minus one suppose so what we will get ultimately either we will get zero or we will get two so there are two possibilities which is ruling out the condition for delta l which is equal to delta l must be plus minus one Transition for two electrons is there, then how getting this plus minus one? So that is again I am going to explain here in the next slide.